YouTube, what it do, man? It's your boy Josh. We back up in this thing with another one. We woke up this morning. It's another beautiful day. All praise to the most high, man. Let's get it. You guys, being an insecure man, bro, is a man that is not at his happiest, to say the least. It's not a good way to live, being insecure. And a lot of young men out there today probably think that there is nothing they can do to eliminate those insecure thoughts, eliminate the anxieties and thinking of the worst case scenario and thinking of all the problems and all the things that could go bad based on how we view ourselves, based on how where, where, where we put ourselves at when we compare ourselves to other people. And typically being insecure, we are never usually looking at the things that we do have, looking at the great qualities that we do possess, looking at looking out to just be accepted because we can't accept ourselves because we can't value ourselves we don't view ourselves as you know something of worth or something you know that we are proud to be and that's not a way to live fellas and as a man that has battled it through that has battled this all my life growing up as a small short kid scrawny kid at five foot seven always the smallest shortest dude in the class been picked on before been been looked down upon been overlooked and i was always battling insecurities and always thinking that there was nothing i could do and always noticing a man that you know had it going on and i would envy i would i would instantly be envious i would instantly hate a man just simply on the the sense of thinking that he was better than me and I don't want none of my young guys out there living like that, especially in today's day and age when we got social media and we're always looking and comparing and seeing what other guys have gotten and seeing what they're doing and everybody's highlights are shown on the internet, man. So today in this video, bro, I just want to talk about silencing the insecurities and I'm gonna, I'm gonna name a step-by-step -step process that I've adapted and I think that it works tremendously and it can help you get on your path of you not feeling insecure, not you feeling anxiety, not you feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like you're always thinking the worst possible scenario and thinking the worst about yourself. I want you to look at yourself and be proud of who you are. And so the first thing that I want you guys to do, man, is you have to accept yourself. You have to accept who you are. Like for me, for example, like I mentioned earlier, I'm a five foot seven, five foot eight on a good day type of dude, bro. I'm a short king. You feel me? Me growing up, I always looked at guys that were taller than me that, you know, had all the girls and things like that. I thought that my height had something to do with it. I couldn't accept myself and I was just always mad and I just automatically hated dudes that were taller than me, that were six foot and above. I thought they just had it all lucky and you know what I mean? You guys have to understand that when you see another man doing good and doing things in his life and you don't, you know, necessarily match that demographic or match that mold or you don't look exactly how he is you got to understand that that is not the end all be all a good way of comparing a good analogy that i could show you man is look at lebron james for example a lot lebron james for example i think lebron james is the goat and then there's a lot of and if you were let's let's go ahead and just you know throw this situation say we were some basketball players right and we looked at lebron james and he's the goat and he's been the face of the nba face of the league for all so long and things like that and we look at that right and say we hate on him and you know we wish because he's doing better than us he's getting all the sponsorships and he's all getting all the deals and so an insecure person will look at that and think well since he's getting it that doesn't mean that i'll be able to get it we think that oh as long as he's there and he's fit in that mold and he's what they want they're never going to look at us they're never going to give us a shot they're never going to get us the chance and that is not the case at all because look at all these other nba players that are great that have different skill sets that are at different heights that that are known for having different attributes and bringing different impacts to the game which is results into success each year, if you don't notice, there's a different team in the NBA. It's very rare that you will see an NBA team go back to back to back. LeBron James is the face of the franchise, face of the league, but he doesn't win the championship every single year. There's always going to be another dog that's going to have his day. And there's going to be some times where a dog doesn't have his day. 
You got to just understand that there are some things that aren't in your control and you can't worry about that. You still have an obligation and you still have the opportunity to go out there and compete and make the most out of yourself. You can't try to hate and wish that you were somebody else. You need to accept who you are. Like, say, for example, Anthony Edwards, you know what I'm saying? Young cat coming in the league, challenging all these dudes, saying, oh, I see where they at. I see all the old heads, you know what I'm saying? They've been the face, but I'm here to take over. I'm, I, I think it's my time. He was talking mess to Kevin Durant. He wasn't coming in and be like, oh, Kevin Durant, he always been the face of the, uh, he's always been that top dog for the past 15 years. I'll never be, no, nah, bro. He's stepping in there and he's like, man, I'm in here. I got, I'm here before a reason. I got an opportunity. He worked himself up there. It's not the end all be all. You don't have to realize. You don't have to tell yourself that, oh, I got to be this person. No, you don't. There are different versions, different ways of achieving success. Yeah, you're not six foot. Yeah, you may not be the, you know what I'm saying, got the chisel jawline. Yeah, you may not have all the nice clothes and everything like that. But you got other opportunities and other ways where you can be successful in the game, bro. You have to embrace and look at your strengths as opposed to worrying about trying to play the game of other people's strengths. Looking at them, getting their success and seeing them getting their glory and think that's the only way. No, that is a way. That's not the way. You can see all these different NBA players. You got Giannis that play a certain way. You got Jason Tatum that play a certain way. Hell yeah, my favorite player growing up when I was when I first started watching basketball was Chris Paul. Why? Because Chris Paul was a six foot dude, point guard. That's what I played. I was the shortest person on the floor, and I and I looked at him as inspiration. That oh. You could be the shortest dude on the court and you could still get buckets. Look at how he play. Oh, he passes. Oh, he he dribbles. He handles, man. You got to accept who you are. You can't. Th there's some things that you just can't change about yourself. But that don't mean you can't be successful. That don't mean you can't win. You can still go out there and achieve greatness. You can still go out there and be great. Now, I'm here to tell you, bro. With that being said, you will never be great if you never if you never believe that you can achieve greatness, bro, if you automatically say, oh, I'm not going to try because they got it and they always going to have it, bro, you will never, you will always be insecure. Unless you challenge yourself and then also challenge other people. I'm not necessarily saying, oh, you got to challenge somebody, but think of the game of the NBA, bro. And we was talking about Anthony Edwards, man, how they just beat Phoenix in the playoffs last year. Anthony Edwards showed up. Kevin Durant was great. He was doing all his thing for his whole career as his favorite player growing up. But KD still had to play Anthony Edwards. And Anthony Edwards said, I'm still, I, hey, I feel like it's my time. He got to play me. I got to play him. He wasn't stacking him above. Yeah, he had been in the league longer, but he, he had arrived. He has trusted the work and he had trusted the process of what he did. He has started saying, I'm going to create my own lane. I'm not going to be Kevin Durant. Anthony Edwards is not going to be a seven foot sharpshooter. That's, you know, you know what I'm saying? Easy money from the three point line and from every place on the floor. That's not Anthony Edwards game. That don't mean that he couldn't be successful. That didn't mean that he couldn't win. And it all started with just believing, bro. Believing in yourself. Manifesting it, bro. It won't happen unless you believe in it, dog. That's a lot of things. That's, that's what, what's killing us is that we see somebody else doing it and we don't think that we got the same ability to do it. If they if they're doing it, that should be all the more reason as to or, or the reason why you should be inspired to do it. That's the proof in the pudding as to as to it can be done. You can do it because look at them. They did it. What makes them better than you? They're not better than you. You need to start telling yourself they are not better than you, bro. Yeah, they got success, bro. Yeah, they've accomplished great things. But you can create your own lane by just simply believing in it. And so if you guys start believing in yourself, bro, and you start imagining of who you can be, bro, you have to understand that when it comes to killing the insecurities, it's going to require some hard work. The reason why we're insecure is because we haven't put in any sort of work that we have sat back and been proud of, where we can go out there and test our abilities. How you get confidence is knowing what you're capable of. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Edwards, the reason why he got confidence, bro, is because he started noticing, he's like, oh, I could hang with these dudes. He started putting himself out there. He started seeing his abilities and realized that he was actually, he could actually be great. See, you can't, you can't know if you can be great if you don't try. You don't know if you can't be great if you're scared to, to go out there and put yourself out there. You can't dare to be great if you're worried about the failures. 
you worried about you putting all this work in, like, oh, I'm going to put all this work in and I'm going to lose. Yes, bro, that's a part of the game. But don't sit on the sidelines, bro, hating somebody else that's got the trophy, that's having a good time because they was willing to put themselves out there. They was willing to challenge themselves. They was willing to put their capabilities out there. The reason why you're insecure is because you have ran away from that. You've been scared of the failure. You've been scared of what people are going to think of you. You think somebody, because you fail or, or anything like that, you think somebody's going to put you down. You think somebody's going to make fun of you. You over here worried about what everybody else thinks. And because you worried about what everybody else thinks, you sacrificed what you thought about yourself. You don't think great about yourself. You've been trying to fit a mold of what, and try to stay low key and not try to put a big spotlight on you, not trying to offend nobody, not trying to, you know what I'm saying, put all the attention on you because you fear that. Don't be scared of the moment. Don't be scared of the challenges. The worst that can happen is if you fail. <laughs> But I'm telling you, you're going to wake up again the next morning. You're going to have another opportunity to get after it, bro. And you can keep going and keep going, bro. You need to stop trying to fit the mold and trying to think that, oh, that person's success. And because I'm not a carbon copy of them, I'm not exactly like them. I will never be successful. No, bro. You can create your own lane. You can do it your way. The one thing that I love about the world, bro, is that we 8 billion people, bro. We got 8 billion people on this planet, right, dog? And on the inside, all of us are the same. But if you look at us on the outside, we all got different qualities. We all look different. We all got different fingerprints. We all, we are just, there is crazy how nobody is an exact copy of somebody else. We may look alike. We may have twins. We may be, you know, have the same DNA and everything like that. But there are still going to be minor, at least minor, some minor, and maybe some few differences here and there. Nobody is going to be exactly the same. You got to be able to embrace your individuality. I love the fact that there is not another me, bro. There is not another me. I love the fact that the more that I put work into myself, the more qualities that I obtain, the more that I learn about how I can be great, just places more individuality on myself and me just being happy that there is not going to be another person that's like me. That's the thing when you also start feeling insecure, man, is because you don't embrace the individuality. You try to fit in, bro. You try to be like everybody else. When it comes to being confident, bro, you, I'm confident in myself because there, there ain't nobody else that can do me like I do me. Ain't nobody else that looks like me, that can do me, that can, you know what I'm saying, understand the things that I understand, see the world that I see the world intellectually. There's not another person. There is not another Josh Holt, bro. I love that about me. You should, too, embrace it. It's who you are, bro. The reason why LeBron James is so great, bro, is because we will probably never see another LeBron James, bro. You have to be willing to be something different. You got to be able to not follow the status quo. You got to stop worrying about being accepted by others. If you're worried about being accepted by others and you wondering about, and you're trying to do the same thing everybody else is doing, you're going to get the same results and you're going to live in the same misery that everybody else is living in. If you want to achieve greater, if you want to achieve better, if you're tired of being insecure, bro, you got to put yourself out there. You got to see what you're capable of. You got to test your abilities. You can't be scared to fail. You can't be worried about what these folks thinking about you, bro. I'm telling, and I know it's going to be hard at first. It's going to be uncomfortable, bro. It's called the transformation phase. And it's only going to last this much, bro, compared to the rest of your life, compared to the rest of your 20s. Okay, you lived your 20s insecure, not feeling the best about yourself. You want the same thing to repeat in your 30s, bro? If you don't want the same thing to repeat, you got to do something different, bro. You can't do the same thing expecting different results. You can't think that one day you're just going to be confident. You got to work for that, bro. The reason why Anthony Edwards is confident is because he was in the gym putting them shots up, putting them shots up, cooking them boys, working every summer, working on his game constantly, not, not, being, not, not settling and, and, and realizing that, yeah, oh, I'm good. Let me take my foot. No, constantly working, putting that work in, striving for great, greater each and every single day. Whoever you strive to be like, whoever you can imagine yourself of being, bro, what habits does that person do? 
I think of myself like of who I want to be, man. I said, man, I want to be a, a, a man that's successful, a man that has a beautiful family around him, a man that has a nice house, nice car, a man that's at peace. Now, I'm envisioning myself of who that is, bro, and what he looks like. That Josh Holt. What does that Josh Holt do every single day to have all of those things? I can tell you right now, that Josh Holt right there has probably got some unreal, crazy discipline. That Josh Holt probably has a drive like no other. That Josh Holt probably gets up every single morning, meditates, self-reflects, always grinding, figuring out ways that he can be better. Hitting that gym, not taking no off days, not getting into his feelings, not getting into his emotions, not letting what somebody say about him take him off his course and take him off his guide and take him off his purpose. I think of that Josh Holt, that Josh Holt ain't walking around looking for the looking for the approval of others. That Josh Holt is eating healthy. That Josh Holt is eating that gallon of water, drinking that gallon of water every single day. That Josh Holt is, you know what I'm saying, making the people that's in his life, the ones that he loves and the ones that he cherishes, he's in the, he, he does the things that make them feel good every single day, makes them feel special, goes out of his way to make, them, make sure that he loves them and make sure that they, can, they, that, that they can stay in his life, doing the things necessary, cherishing his relationships. Being ha This Josh Holt is being happy. So he's not thinking of anything negatively. He's not taking any, he's not letting those negative thoughts conquer his mind. He's not letting, you know what I'm saying, the doubts and what could go, what could go wrong outshine and outweigh what could go right. That Josh Holt right there that I'm thinking of is a risk taker. Ambitious. Ain't scared to fail. Ain't worried about what anybody think, like I said before. Willing to go out there and get it every single day. Not caring whether or not doing the YouTube videos each and every day, figuring out how he can inspire, how he can add value to the market. Not worried about if people liking the videos, not wondering if, if it, what his subscriber his account is looking like, not worrying about if people No, he just keep on doing it every single day, getting better. Not focused on social media, not comparing his life to other people, being grateful for where he is in life, being grateful for how far he's come. Living in the present. Stop worrying about the future. You're not worrying about the future. He's, he's, he's taking a second, realizing where he is, accepting where he is, and being happy. And understanding that he's grateful for where he is. Because he could have been a few steps back. What are the daily habits of the man that you want to be? Stop re repeating those daily habits that's got you feeling insecure, not feeling good about yourself, not feeling worthy about yourself. The dude, the dude that's insecure, man, I'm starting naming off some habits. He probably probably don't stick to stick to doing what he said he wants to do. He probably starts and stops and starts and stops and starts and stops. He doesn't know what he's capable of because he's always stopping and he's always quitting when it gets hard. He's always looking for some easy handouts, looking for some easy results. Looking for people to accept him as opposed to him being a, being able to put the work in so he can accept himself The reason why he can't accept himself is because he hasn't put the work in He had, the reason why he can't accept himself is because he isn't proud of who he is because he had he hasn't done nothing to be proud of This person probably this insecure probably per, per, is this insecure person the insecure Joshua is probably you know what I'm saying when he has a girlfriend or he actually does have people in his life you know what I'm saying? He, he starts pedestalizing them and, and he doesn't want them to see them for who they are. And they, he, he's, he's worried about if they go go out there and they go out there that they're going to see something that's better. And then if they see something that's better, they're going to leave him. And so he starts. And so he knows that. And so he tries to think of ways where he can prevent that. He tries to say, where are you at? Or, or he tries to make sure that it's not, you know what I mean? It doesn't happen. He tries to control the uncontrollable. He's not focused on trying to make himself better. He's not focusing on trying to be greater. He's accepting who he is, doesn't want to be greater, and he's hoping somebody else can accept him. I'm telling you boys, man, 
You have to imagine yourself as the confident version. You have to stop looking at other people that are in other lanes, doing their thing, getting success and getting joy and automatically thinking that you can't achieve that. You can, bro. The reason why you don't think you can is because you've done nothing. You haven't worked and put yourself out there to to at least reach that. What are, like I said, man, what are the daily habits of the person who you want to be? What do they do? Because I'm telling you, if you're insecure and your insecurities are guiding your heart, guiding your mind, got you worrying about things you got no control over, bro. I'm here to ask you, bro, are you willing to do something different? Are you willing to do something different, bro? It's going to be it's going to be hard at first, bro. Don't trust me. Believe me. You got to understand, bro, if you insecure, you probably don't like being left on your own, bro. It's time to go ghost, bro. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. You ain't never gone ghost. You ain't never been off the net. You ain't never just focused on making sure that you gave yourself everything that you needed. Instead, you've been looking out and hoping somebody else can give you the happiness instead of just working it and giving it to yourself, bro. You've been looking out, being trying to be accepted, trying to get all this. Bro, the only way that you can be happy is if you work for it and you pour into yourself. That's what self-love is, bro. Giving yourself the most consideration to where you can go out there and work so you can be eventually happy one day. Being insecure, bro, I've been there before, bro. I'm passionate about it, man. I'm passionate about helping other young men step out and to step out and, and you know what I'm saying, bet on themselves. I'm learning for men to step out and, and be okay with not being liked. I'm tired of men worrying about being liked, bro. Not everybody gonna like you, bro. What do you look like trying to be liked by somebody, man? I want you to like yourself. I want you to love yourself. I want you to be great. I don't want you to look at other men and hate them because they, they achieve in greatness. You don't even know that man, but you automatically off rip hate him because he's everything that you're not. And you think you will never be. And that's not the case at all. You, he was not born that way. He worked himself to get to that point. You get mad when another man is walking around and got some confidence about yourself because of your lack of confidence. Because like I said, they're everything that you're not. And it's, they're everything that you wish you could be. And I'm tired of you being so filled with hate and rage. Instead, I want you to do something about it. I want you to do something that's different. So that's all I got for y'all boys, man. Hey, like I said, man, in my, well, I don't think I said it in my previous video, but I've been gone for the past couple weeks, man. I had a military operation. Um, so I'm, I'm back now this week, um, back to regular schedule programming, back to my routine and everything. So apologies for that, man, but I'm back, man. With that being said, if you guys got, uh, got, got want to talk to me or you want to reach out to me, have some, need some sort of advice to whatever you're going through, go, can go down there. And you can book a consultation and speak to me one-on-one. -on -one. Link down below in the description. If you guys want a training program, you can buy one. Link down below in the description. If you guys want to reach out to me on Instagram to say what's up, if you got comments, questions, or concerns or anything like that, man, shoot me a DM, bro. I'll respond back to you. With that being said, man, before y'all go, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'm going to holler at y'all boys.